Hi, everybody. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you today? Good evening. How are you today, guys? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, so tired. So tired? Oh, okay. Good. Well, I imagine, I imagine. Thank you for joining me. No, it's, it's a pleasure to see you and uh, to have you in the session. This is session number 14. We're going to begin in a couple of minutes. I'm going to, you know, start and I will pass attendance. Please, once you listen to your name, stay present, okay? Let's begin. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Thanks. Ana Francisca. Present teacher. Thanks. Vicky Garcia. Vicky Garcia. Yeah. yeah. Last Diaz. Present. Thanks. Astro Muñoz. Present. Thanks. Bessie Avalos. Present. Yeah. Bessie Flores. Present, teacher. Thanks. Cesar Martinez. Present. Yeah. Sarah Viola. Sarah Viola. Yeah. Claudia Ramos. Present. Thank you. Talida Galicia. Present, teacher. Thanks. Tina Wildelmi Peña. Present. Thank you. Ernesto Garcia. Present, teacher. Present. Okay. Stephanie Sea. Present. Nice. Esan Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Okay. Nina Linares. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ileana Alvarado. Okay. Okay. Can see you. Ivan Patris. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Joan Navarro. Present teacher. Thanks. Jorge Espinosa. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Thanks. Seba Rientos. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Rodriguez. Present teacher. Helen. Se portillo. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Carballo. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Flores. Karen Flores. Can you hear me, Carla? Karen Flores. Carla Granados. Carla Granados. Está here. Eh, or Carla Rivera. Carla Rivera. Está here. And Carla Rosa. Present. Okay, Carla. Okay, very good. Well, um, tell me, how was your weekend? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? Very good. Very good? It was excited. Did you enjoy your weekend? Saturday, Sunday? Yeah? Yes, teacher. I have a nice, nice weekend. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Excellent. Okay, listen up. Un par de recordatorios. Recuerden que solo teníamos, tenemos todavía parte de la noche para enviar su formato. Creo que han enviado todos con la inscripción del, del siguiente curso. Lo siguiente es con respecto a la plataforma. 
hoy revisar bueno, para esto ahora el fin de semana. Y pues luego que ya algunos completamos, otros ya tenemos que completar. Recuerden que tenemos hasta mañana. La mañana es la fecha límite para completar todo. Así es que lo primero que vamos a hacer es iniciar con, con clase. Va a ser explicar el final exam. Sé que algunos no lo han hecho, pero ya lo hicieron. Que tienen hasta mañana para hacer el final exam para completar todo lo que Esa es la fecha límite. El miércoles debe estar completo todo ya. Pues realmente vamos a tener normal, clase normal. Y ahí terminaría. El miércoles 28. Sería la última clase, la última sesión. Que no sé si alguien tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Sí, ya no llegaremos hasta el jueves de esta semana. No, hasta el miércoles. Aclaro, aclaro la vez pasada. Metí un error, yo dije de, de martes a jueves, que íbamos con la semana, de, de hecho vamos de martes a miércoles. Es que aclaro, y fue un error mío, dije de martes a jueves. Vamos de martes a miércoles, a pesar de toda la semana, pero vamos de, íbamos, normalmente íbamos de lunes a jueves, como se, se corrió un día, digámoslo así, vamos de martes a miércoles. Ya terminamos el miércoles con la clase número 16. ¿Hay dudas, preguntas? ¿No? ¿No? Bueno, uh, quiero que me ayuden con la lectura, please. Stick on the cameras. Que no la tenemos encendida. Come on, please. Let's go on the camera three. Ready? One, two, three. All right, thank you. Perfect. Well, let's continue. Let's continue with class. And by the way, Renata Flores, I, I already put you in the, in the list. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Thank you, Renata. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, you can share your answers in the chat, please. No se les olvide, si no podemos utilizar el micrófono, aquí todo el micrófono, por compartir sus respuestas en el chat. Para estar revisando el chat, ok, por no se nos olvide. Bueno, empecemos con el final exam. Vamos a revisando. Claro, más que todas las instrucciones, por lo que no lo hemos hecho, lo que ya hicimos, pues, Uh, congratulations, because you have finished all the tasks in the platform. Okay, let's go. Well, this is the final exam. And as you know, we have six parts. Tenemos six parts in the final exam. Empezamos con listening, instructions. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations and select the best answer to the question. Vamos a escuchar la conversación y vamos a responder la pregunta. Okay. Vamos con cuatro preguntas. Y con más en el audio de la conversación vamos a contestar. Next, complete the sentences. Complete the sentences, instruction. Look at the map. To complete the sentence. Vamos a ver el mapa que podemos dar acá Zoom y después vamos a completar las oraciones. Son tres. Vamos a enviar. Next, select the best answer. Instruction. Select the best answer for each one. Vamos a seleccionar la opción que nosotros consideremos correcta en cada pregunta. Son cinco. ¿Ok? Seleccionamos, tenemos acá todas las marcadas. Next, match the verse to the nouns. Vamos a seleccionar, match the verse to the correct word, words or phrases. Vamos a seleccionar los verbos con las palabras o frases correctas. 
tenemos los verbos acá. En pasado, recuerdan. Y vamos a seleccionar con la palabra o la frase correcta. Son cinco torneos. Complete the conversation. Select the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. Vamos a seleccionar la forma correcta del verbo para completar las oraciones. Y tenemos acá, bueno, tenemos preguntas, porque son conversaciones, preguntas y respuestas. Vamos a ir seleccionando, vamos a completar la conversación. En este caso tenemos, pues, seis. Tenemos seis ítems. Le vamos a enviar. ¿Ok? Seamos cuidadosos al momento de completar, leamos, leamos detenidamente, tenemos el tiempo y contestemos. Vamos a enviar y bueno, si tenemos una o dos respuestas malas, podemos volver a intentarlo hasta obtener la todo completo, ¿ok? Porque para la, el propósito es para completar. En el last one, read the article and complete the sentence. Vamos a leer el artículo o el texto que es acá y vamos a completar o responder las preguntas. Tenemos tres preguntas con base en el texto. Veamos cuidadosamente y busquemos palabras claves. Palabras claves. ¿Bien? Y eso sería básicamente su final exam. Si hay alguna pregunta, duda, recuerden que lo van a encontrar acá. Sé que ustedes acá saben dónde está, qué cosa. Acá las secciones. Por lo general aparecen así. Damos clic acá. Está en la parte de abajo. ¿Ok? Así es que eso sería básicamente el último para complementar la plataforma. Repito, unos, casi la mayoría, me atrevería a decir, ya completó. Es que muy bien, excelente. Y pues, felicidades a todos. Felicidades a los, y a los que están por complementar. Igual, si hay preguntas o dudas, podemos hacerlas. ¿Todo bien? Ok. Let's continue. Now let's go to the class. Well, this is the topic for today. In the previous class, we started with the class of B. We were talking about affirmative, positive, and negative form, right? By the way, today is Monday, April 26th, 2021, session number 14. And the topic for this class is questions with the past of you. We will talk about just not questions and WH questions. WH questions. Okay. Let's begin. Well, the first thing that I'm, I want to ask you is about the past of you. What is the past of you, guys? Was where? Exactly. Was and where. Mm -hmm. That is that is the pass of B, right? Pass of B. Was or where? Okay. Very good. So the pass of B, as we said in the previous class last week, the pass of B has two forms. Was and where. When do we use was? Talking about the pronouns. For example, I, you know, we use was, with he, what she. pronouns? Exactly. He, she, he, he. and it. it, it, exactly, was. What about where? They, you, you, you they, they, we, 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 you, they. Yeah. Good. We use were with you, we, and they, right? 
Excellent. Okay, now let's talk about the structures because remember that in the previous class we were talking about positive and negative form. Okay, and we were following okay. different formulas. Okay, now we're gonna follow different structures. The questions. Let's begin. Don't forget this picture, this image, because that represents the tenses. No olvidamos esa imagen que representa los tiempos verbales. Past, present, and future. Oh. It's okay, Carla Rivera. Thank you for informing. Se está viendo en su tona, se está viendo muy fuerte. Vamos a ver, y bueno, no se preocupe. Cualquier cosa, si alguien tiene dificultades para, para escuchar o, bueno, de hecho, saben que eso pasa. Eh, con respecto a la, el audio, conexión, etc. O sea, es que no se preocupen si está viendo muy, muy fuerte. Y pues espero que no sea así, que se vea la luz, por ejemplo, en su sede. Um, no se preocupen, se pueden volver a unir y pues en algún dado caso no regresa la luz porque a veces también pasa eso. Recuerden, el video va a quedar en el canal, ¿eh? Entonces que no hay ningún problema. Very good. Let's continue. Ok, cierto. ¿Quién no ha mencionado? ¿Alguien que se haya unido ahorita? ¿Está Mariola? que se me olvida, que a veces se, por problemas de conexión se, se salen. ¿Está la Riola? ¿Nos saca? ¿Carla Granados? ¿Carla Granados? ¿Está aquí? Ok. Ok, let's continue. Bueno, well, let's go with the first structure. Yes, no questions. That is the first form. Yes, no questions. And those questions have short answers. Short answers. So that's why we say yes or no. Yes or no. Because they have short answers. Las preguntas de sí y no tienen respuestas. Let's see the structures in details. What is the structure? We start with the, the verb be which is in past, was or were, was or were, plus the subject, plus a complement and the question mark, okay? We can have different examples. We can say, for example, were you at work yesterday? Were you at work yesterday? We follow the structure. Remember, was or where was the subject was a complement and the question mark. We follow the structure where, which is a, a verb, the subject is you. We have a complement which is at work yesterday. Well, first, we answer the question say yes or no. Yes, what? No, I wasn't. Okay? And these are just no questions, that's your answers. Can we add more information? We can, we can. Podemos agregar más información? Cierto, son respuestas cortas, pero podemos agregar más información. If you say yes, for example, yes, I was. I was, let's say, with my coworkers. Okay, I was with coworkers. If, if you say no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I was I was at home. I was at home. You can respond this way. 
¿ok? Sí, son respuestas cortas. Y este was no es was, pero podemos agregar más información. ¿Ok? If someone asked us for you at work yesterday, yes, it was. No, it wasn't. That is correct, but you can include more information. Yes, I was. I was. I was working hard. No, I wasn't. I was at home. Okay? That is why. Let me give you another example. Was your father at the park last week? Was your father at the park last week? Let's analyze the question. Was is the verb be your father is the subject and the complement is at the park last week? So we're talking about my father or your father. So we answer yes, was, no, he was. That is the way. Because we're talking about a man, he. Was your father at the court last week? What about if I ask you? Let me see. I will go with Cesar, Cesar Martinez. Was your father at the court last week? No, he wasn't. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't. It's good. Thank you. Let me go back. Um, Ana Francisca, were you at work yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay. Yes, you were. Good. Okay. What about Ernesto? Ernesto, were you at work yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay. How about Karen Carvalho? Were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Okay, nice. Good. What is the way? Let me give you another example. Were you, were you, you at, no, I will say that. Were we, were we, and, shall I have an angle? Last Saturday, were we at Interatenango last Saturday? Remember, we were, sorry, where is it? The verb be, we is a subject, and the complement Interatenango last Saturday. So we answer yes, we were. No, we weren't. Okay. If you want to be more specific, and if you want to add more information, you can say, yes, we were. We were, were in El Vital. You want to, if you say no, no, we weren't, you can say, we, we weren't, we were, sorry, in El Boqueron. Okay? We were in El Boqueron. That is the way. These are just the questions. They have your answers. Okay. Any questions so far? We want to say Okay. Let's go to the other form. What is the other form? WH questions or information questions. And for these ones, we have long answers. Long answers. Let's look at the structure. Let's look at the structure, the formula that we follow. In this case, we begin with a WH word, WH word, plus was or where, plus the subject. Finally, we have the company with a question mark. And what are some WH words, guys? Do you remember? English words. What? Yeah, Where? What? Why? Where? When? Why? How often? 
a person who how how what time okay those are the least words let me give you some examples now we're talking about information questions or WH questions is the same. You will have long answers, long answers. For example, you can say, where were you, were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? So using word, where were you yesterday? You can tell me I was, at home yesterday. Or I was at the hotel, for example. I was at the hotel. Where? So we're asking for places at home at the hotel. That's the first one. Next, for example, if I ask you, what city, a city were you born in? What city were you born in? You can say, I was born in San Salvador. Just we're asking for cities, cities. As we know in Spanish, we tend to say municipios, right? Uh, in Spanish, cities. ¿Dónde estabas ayer? I was at home yesterday. ¿Estaba en casa ayer? What city were you born in? ¿En qué ciudad o, o en qué municipio naciste? I was born in San Salvador. Okay. If I ask you guys, let's see. Jose Portillo, where were you yesterday? Where were you yesterday? I was at home. Excellent. Let's see. Elena. Elena, what city were you born in? Como, como? Yeah. What city? What city were you born in? I was uh, I was um, in San Salvador. Okay, repeat that for me. I was born. I was born in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Jose Barrientos, yeah. what city were you born in? I was born in San Salvador, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Claudia Ramos, where were you yesterday? I was in the the home. I was at home. I was, I was at, at home. home. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The team will go with Ernesto. What city was your mother born in? My mother was born in. Born, born in San Salvador. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you. I will go with Delmi. Delmi, where was your father yesterday? Uh, my father was born in Nehapa. Okay, your father was born in Nehapa. Good, good. Just be careful with the question. Because the question was, tell me, where was your father yesterday? Oh, where was your father? My father was, for example, in my case, my father was at home. Where was your father yesterday? That was a question, but you answered my the second question, right? It's okay. Let me ask you again, tell me, where was your father yesterday, okay? Where? Where was your father yesterday? La pregunta es diferente. ¿Dónde estaba su papá ayer? 
Uh, my father was at home. At home, okay. Good. Thank you. All right. Listen, let me show you more examples, but I need to know if you have any questions. Questions so far? Preguntas hasta acá? Sure. Yeah. Uh, in the last uh, question, where was your father? Yesterday, uh, if I uh, is is good say, my father is dead or my father was dead. My father was there because you're using the simple oh. past. My father well, was the there. Deaf, deaf, deaf. Oh, I'm sorry. Deaf. <laughs> oh, okay. My father was is deaf or was deaf. Was there? Dead. Deaf. Was my father was deaf. In this case, because of the context, I think you. You're telling me about the question, where was your father yesterday, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I understand. But my point. father is deaf. My father is deaf. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, in this okay. case, you can say is that My father okay. is there. Okay. In okay. this case, you say the present. El presente. La forma okay. La forma presente for the verb to be. Okay, is okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, let me show you more examples. Let's go one by one. Let's go with just my questions first. If I ask you, or if you listen to this question, where were you? Were you born in El Salvador? Sorry. Were you born in El Salvador? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes, I was. I was born in San Salvador. No, I wasn't. I was born in the United States. For example. If I ask you, Alberto, were you born in El Salvador? Were you born in El Salvador, Alberto? Yes, I was. Yeah. Thank you. What about Stephanie? Stephanie, were you born in El Salvador? Yes, I was. I born in in San Salvador. Okay, good. Remember, yes, I was. Did that for me? Yes, I was. Yes, yes, I was. I was. I was born in San Salvador. I was born in San Salvador. San Salvador. San Salvador. Exactly. Thank you. I will go with Ivan. Ivan, were you born in Venezuela? Oh, I was in. Okay. In that case, you can say I was born in, and you say your country. I was born. I was born. El, I was born in El Salvador. Exactly. Good. Thank you. Eliana, were you born in Spain? Eliana, were you born in Spain? No, I wasn't. Okay, nice. Thank you. Very good. Come a second. Okay, I'll go with Carla Rosa. Carla Rosa, were you born in El Salvador? Were you born in El Salvador, Rosa? Carla Rosa? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Okay, nice. Very good. Let's go with another example, guys. Thank you. Was your brother born in Italy? Was your brother born in Italy? The answer, yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was born in Rome. Rome. No, he wasn't. He was born in El Salvador. Okay. Let's see. I will listen to um okay. Oh, okay, I will go with Bessie Munoz. 
Alright. Messi Flores. Messi Flores. Okay. Do you have brothers? Uh, Messi? Mm -hmm. Sister? Yes. Sister. Oh, sister. Okay. Listen to my question. Um, Bessie, was your sister born in Italy? No, he wa I, no, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Excellent. No, she wasn't. Thank you. Okay. I will go with Cesar Rariola. By the way, you're here. I'm here, teacher. Good. Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I have uh, one brother. Okay. Was your brother born in El Salvador, Cesar? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Nice. Good. Let's go with the other example. Were your parents born in France? Yes, they were. Now it's different the answer. Yes, they were because we're talking about your mother and your father. Were your parents born in France? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. En este caso es diferente la respuesta. Estamos hablando de nuestros padres. Mamá y papá. Were your parents born in France? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. I will go with Harrison. Harrison? Were your parents, were your parents born in the United States? Uh, no. They, no, they were. Yeah. My parents were uh, at the Salvador. Okay, my parents, remember? My parents, my parents were born. Were born in El Salvador. El Salvador, good. Yeah. Very nice, thank you. Let's see, I will go with somebody else. Ace Diaz, please. Ace Diaz, were your parents born in El Salvador? Yes, they were. Good. Let's see who else. We'll go with Jose Barrientos. Were your parents born in, Fra in France? No, they were a teacher. They were from San Julián, Sonsonate. Okay. Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. That is all we use just no questions. Just no questions. Do you have any doubts, questions? Preguntas, dudas, comentarios? Is everything clear? Yes, teacher, everything. Thank you. Okay, let's go with more examples with the WH questions. Now let's go with the questions. But we have long answers, remember, long answers. Let's begin. Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were you born? Listen, pay attention to the WH, the WH word, sorry. The WH word, what is the WH word, by the way? What is the WH word? Where? Where exactly? Where? That is the WH word. And when do we use where? When do we use where? For what? When we places. talk about places. Exactly. As I said, when we talk about places. Where were you born? I was born in the United States. I was Teacher. born in El Salvador. Yeah. Teacher, the pronunciation is the same. Where, where? Yeah, it's the same. Where, 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 it's the same. Where, where you born? I was born in the United States. I was born in El Salvador. Where, where? I was born in Costa Rica. Sorry? I was yeah. born. Tell me, tell me, sorry. No, estaba con la pronunciación. Where, where? <laughs> Where were, where, 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 where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in the United Kingdom. I was born in Brazil. I was born in Argentina. 
etc. Okay, we can vary. Let's see. Well, by the way, I have that, you know, that doubt or curiosity. Do I have some? Do I have someone here from a different country? Everybody was born in El Salvador. Tengo alguien acá que sea que haya nacido en otro país, por ejemplo. Todos somos salvadoreños de, de corazón. ¿Abari? ¿Abari? Ok, I will go with Ana Francisca. Ana Francisca, where were you born? I was born in El Salvador. Yeah. Sí. Jorge Espinosa, where were you born? Uh, I was born in San Salvador. In San Salvador, okay, yeah. It's okay, you can say cities as well. No ningún problema, podemos decir uh, municipios o ciudades si queremos ser más específico ok most of the times we mention the country la mayoría de veces mencionamos el país porque si alguien nos pregunta por ejemplo algún extranjero decimos el país ok y después si queremos ser más específicos o we can say in this way we can say for example if someone asks you where were you born we can say I was born in San Salvador, San Salvador, El Salvador. Okay, or it could be like because it, I don't know, you know, it depends. It depends on the city. It could be like I was born in San Miguel, El Salvador. Okay, so you can say it that way too. Vamos a decirlo de esa forma también. Y es válido. Okay. Siempre y cuando la persona que nos haga la pregunta, en este caso, vamos de cuenta que es un extranjero, conozca el lugar, right? But it's okay. It's okay if you say, I was born in San Miguel, en Salvador. Because the, the tourist, the tourist, I'm sorry, the touristic, the tourist, sorry, the tourist is trying to know the country, okay? No hay ningún problema si decimos y no conoce a la persona, por ejemplo, en los lugares, no hay ningún problema porque a veces los turistas están acá por conocer de, de lugares. Okay. No hay ningún problema. Okay. Very good. Let's go with the other example. When. When was your sister born? is different. When. What is the WH war? When. Well, time. Time. When, exactly, we use when for time, for time, or dates. When was your sister born? Dates. Exactly, dates. When was your sister born? Now we're talking about your sister, we're talking about somebody else. She was born in 1994. 1994. She was born in 1994. There are different ways you can express this specific day. Hay diferentes formas de expresar cuando alguien nos pregunta, por ejemplo, cuando nacimos. Let me show you. You can say, he was born in 1994, right? Yeah. You can say, he was born in February, for example. Or we can say she was born on February 2nd, 1990. We have three ways. We say in the first and just a year. In the second, we say the month. And in the last one, we say the whole date, on February 2nd, 1990. In one, we say the year, in the other, we say the month, and in the other, we say the date. 
data complete. Okay. In this case, we had just a year. When was your sister born? She was born in 1994. 1994. 1994. Okay. If I ask you guys, for example, let me see, I'm going to select, um, I will go with, oh, let me see, participants. I haven't listened to oh, Jennifer again, please. Jennifer, when was your mother born? When was your mother born? Uh, uh, she was in San Salvador. Okay, listen to the question. When? When was your mother uh, born? She was born? Uh, she was born in John, uh, I don't know how, how to pronounce um, the... Tell me the year, it's okay. 1900? Uh, 1966, okay, 1966. 1966. Okay, she was born in 1966. Exactly. She was born in 1966. Good. Thank you, Jennifer. I will go with, it's a pleasure. I will go with Jose Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez. When was your father born? He was born in 1981. 81, good. He was born in 1981. Good. Thanks. I will go with Bessie Avalon. Bessie Avalon. When was, oh, by the way, do you have brothers or sisters? Bessie Avalon? Sister. Sister, okay. When was your sister born? Bessie, when was your sister born? She was born on January 70. 1984, no, oh, 88. 88, good. Good, she was born yes. on, Jan on January 17th, 1988. Better for me, Bessie? 17th, 17th. 17th, 17th. Yeah. Exactly, thank you. Okay, we're gonna go, it's a pleasure. We're gonna go with the last question. What city were they born? Were they born in? What city were, they, were your parents, what city were your parents born in? They were born in? San Salvador, sorry. My bad. Because we're asking for cities. Where the city? What city? What city were your parents born in? They were born in San Salvador. Because we're asking for a city, we can say what country. It's okay. What country were your parents born in? They were born in uh, Honduras. They were born in Colombia, etc. Okay. If I ask you, for example, Dalila. Sure. Yeah, tell me. Okay. Tell me, tell me. Uh, could I say, uh, could I say, for example, uh, they were they were born in Chalchuapa City, this in El Salvador. That is our statement, right? But it's not correct. Chalchuapa City, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can say in this way. They were born in Chalchuapa. In two statements. Chalchuapa, El Salvador. Uh, Chalchuapa City. That, uh, this is in El Salvador or this in El Salvador? 
Yeah, but if you say city, Chachapa mm. city, uh, we know that the yeah. question is what city? So it is not necessary to say city again. No es necesario repetir. Ah, okay. City. Podemos omitirlo para que okay. no suene tan, pues, no, tan um, repetitivo. Podemos omitirlo. They were born in San Chapa, El Salvador, el antiguo más específico. Cuando dices Chalchuapa, sabemos que es una ciudad o es un, en nuestros casos, es un municipio. Okay. Very good. But you can say it. You can say it. Dalida, what city were your parents born in? What city were your parents born in? ¿En qué ciudad o municipio nacieron sus padres? What city were your parents born in? In, in a Washington? Oh, okay. But it is uh, a Washington? I mean, in, in Bor mm -hmm. ¿Ese, ese uh -huh. sería como el, el, el municipio el, o el, la ciudad? El municipio. Oh, okay. eh, el departamento, sí, municipio. In the in the San Salvador, in Aguachapan. ¿Cuál es el municipio, perdón? Aguachapan. Eh, bueno, mis padres viven en Aguachapan, yo vivo en Santa Ana. Oh. Pero ellos son nacidos en Aguachapan. Bien, yeah. pero sería el, en algunos casos, yo, eh, en el, Aguachapan es municipio también, es departamento. Sí, sí, sí. Ajá. ¿Sería Aguachapan municipio? Departamento. ¿O sería el departamento? Oh. Eh, Aguachapán siempre porque viven en el propio pueblo. Ah, en ok. La ciudad de Aguachapán. Oh, uh -huh. Ok, yeah, sure. Good. Yeah, you can say in the way or you can say just Aguachapán. Okay. okay. They were, repeat it for me, Dalida. Dali, that was a me. They were born. They were born. Dalida, that was a me. They were born. Ah. Uh, they they were they, they were, were they were they were they were they were they were born were in Aguachapan in Aguachapan 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 okay nice thank you Valida okay guys any questions one more time preguntas dudas Teacher, yeah. como Aguachapán es ciudad y es pueblo, tendríamos que decir Aguachapán City y Aguachapán Town. No. Mm, that's a good question. Ciudad, ciudad y pueblo, me dijo. ¿no? Ciudad y pueblo, sí. O no, ¿verdad? solo es ciudad. Mm. Oh, Japan is my city, okay. Yeah. I think, yeah, it could be like a Washington city. Washington city. Yeah. But in some cases, people say town, right? Algunas personas dicen como pueblo o como ciudad. Se va a depender, va a depender el contexto. Okay. But yeah, it's, for me, it's more city. City. Yeah. Pero como también está el departamento, o sea, el departamento y la ciudad de Aguachapán. Yeah, that, that's why I said it like this. They were born in Aguachapán. Aguachapán. Oh. Why? Because we have uh, yeah. Aguachapán is a city and Aguachapán is the department. Así se conoce en, en, nuestro, en nuestro país, right? Decimos el municipio, por ejemplo, San Salvador. San Salvador es el municipio. Y el departamento de San Salvador también. Podría ser de esa forma. O oh, solo podríamos decir Aguachapán, San Salvador. Okay. ¿Y, y, ¿Y los municipios cómo los podríamos mencionar en inglés? O oh, así, municipios. We say cities. Cities. Sí. Cities. But some people say, like, I forget the word, but you say municipio. No, municipio is an adjective. I don't remember exactly the way we say in the, the noun. Se me ha olvidado cómo se dice. Um, en sí el, el, el adjetivo y el, el adjetivo es municipio 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 
Not sure. But but most of the times we use it. Okay, municipality. Okay. Municipality. Municipality. Yeah. But most of the times we say city. La mayoría de veces utilizamos city para los municipios. Así es como lo utilizan. Esa es como la el la palabra estándar. Yeah. Es raro que se utilice esa forma como municipio. Okay. Okay. Well, questions? Listen, I think we have time. I have a Kahoot for you. Have you ever heard Kahoot? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado de Kahoot o no han jugado? Kahoot. Yeah. No. no. I played it. Okay, déjenme explicarles. Creo que tenemos tiempo. Voy a explicar en español. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Les voy a compartir. Bueno, no sé por qué de compartir. Les voy a compartir el link de, un, de una página y quiero que desde sus dispositivos, ya sea en su teléfono o en su computadora, ingresemos. Ese link se lo pueden ver en el chat. Ingresamos y esperamos. Les voy a compartir un pin. ¿Qué pin? Porque esperan un momento. Se lo voy a compartir e ingresemos. Ingresemos todos, todos van a participar. Ingresemos y van a quedarse esperando. Van a esperar un momento. Les voy a dar el ping. Ya les compartí el link en el chat. Vayamos todos al link. Hacemos clic y accedemos. Ahora bien, les voy a compartir la otra pantalla. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a estar cambiando de ventana en ventana. Es decir, vamos a estar en la videoconferencia todos, pero al mismo tiempo vamos a estar respondiendo algunas preguntas o algunos ítems. Déjenme mostrarles. Ok, esta es la videoconferencia. Estamos todos, ¿verdad? ¿Podemos ver la pantalla todos? Sí. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ok, ese es el pin. Ingresémoslo ahí donde dice el pin de juego. Escuché. 88-66-56. Le voy a pedir que ingresen un nombre, por favor. Agregamos un nombre, su nombre normal. Bueno, tengo el Alberto Espinosa, Donay. Tengo que tenerlos a todos. Sé que todos van a participar. Son 25, si no me equivoco. ¿Qué pasó con los demás? Es que creo que tenemos tiempo. Vamos a, a trabajar con Was and Where. Vamos a trabajar con Was and Where. Was and Where. Bessie Flores, Carla Rosa, Elías, José Portillo, Bessie Ábalos, José Portillo, Iván Patriz, José Rodríguez, Adoná, Alberto Espinosa. Tenemos 12 ahorita. Nos hacen falta bueno, 13, 14, nos hace falta 11. <coughs> Sure. Yeah. This 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 topic is the last of uh, what's the last or I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, this topic was uh, the, the, the last. Is... Yeah, it's what's in word. What's in word. What's okay. in word. You have the pass of B. Vamos a utilizar. Pass of B. Ese va a ser el tema que vamos a utilizar. Pass no, le pregunto que si. El tema que vimos ahora era el último. Eh, no. O sea, con respecto. Uh, ¿Respecto? Sí, con, con respecto a los que están en la plataforma. Vamos a hacer un... Bueno, lo que nos hace falta es ver... Mañana vamos a ver lo de ambos, did and was. Es decir, el simple pass en general, con el verbo to be y, el, y la otra forma, did. Más que todo vamos a enfocarnos en, en preguntas, si no me equivoco. Ese va a ser el tema de mañana. Bueno, tenemos 18, 19, nos hace falta 6. Que ingresen, por favor. Que ingresamos. Podemos ingresar. 21, nos hace falta 4. Somos 25. Bueno, en lo que se ingresan los demás, 4 que hacen falta. Recuerden, vamos a estar intercambiando. De ventana en ventana. ¿Por qué? Porque acá en la videoconferencia, donde estamos todos, aparecerá la pregunta con sus 
opciones de respuesta. Son multiple choices. ¿okay? Son opciones múltiples. Y vamos a regresar y vamos a ver las opciones. Vamos a seleccionar, vamos a, en este caso, a, solo a darle un touch a la opción que consideremos. ¿okay? Después vamos a ver la respuesta a todos. Son 10 preguntas. Entonces, que, creo que en 5 minutos terminamos. Tengo 22. ¿Qué puedo hacer con los demás? 3. Hace falta 3. ¿Quién no, ¿Quién no ha ingresado? ¿Quién no ha podido ingresar? Yo, teacher, estoy teniendo problemas. Um, ahorita recuerden ingresamos ponemos el pin ese es el pin por cierto no sé qué eso no lo, no lo había tapado ese es el, el, el pin del juego ha ingresado al, al link que le di Vicky y después ingresa al teacher perdón teacher ya, ya pude ingresar ok ingresa al link que le envié Vicky y, y agrega ese pin de juego 88, 66, 56. Luego le pide el nombre, agrega su nombre y está dentro. Bueno, creo que nos hace falta 3. Bueno, de hecho vi 23. Um, si es hora. Es que... Bueno, um, begin, yes, up, very good. Calidad 2. Hace falta 1. Recuerden, el tema es has a beer. Has a beer. Now, yes, everybody is in. Ahora sí, todos somos completos. Es que voy a iniciar. Oh, ¿Fue alguien? Voy a iniciar la cuenta de tres. Esperamos que ingrese el participante que se salió. Vamos a ingresar a la cuenta de tres. Y recuerden, el tema es has a beer. Vamos a practicar. La página del juego. ¿Quién ingresó? ¿Quién se salió? Más? esperando a quien se salió. Quiero suponer que es porque hubo problemas. Es Vicky. Yeah, Vicky. Ok, Vicky, you can, you can in. You can be in, sorry. You can enter. Oh, now se nos fue alguien más. Ok, listen, voy a iniciar. Los que no han, los que, los que no han ingresado pueden volver a ingresar porque somos en el juego. Si alguien se sale, el pin va a estar abajo. Puede ingresar, no hay ningún problema. Así es que nos hace falta una persona, pero vamos a iniciar. Vamos a ir acumulando puntos y al final pues. Ok, this is the puzzle B. Let's go on the camera three. This is the first one. We at home yesterday. Let's see the options. Are, was, and were. Empezamos a presionar. El dispositivo. Presionar cualquiera. Ok, the answer, that is the correct answer. Lexi de Podium. Ok, Ana Francisca, Adonai, José Carlos, Karen Renata, and Dalida Antonia. Let's go next. Number two. The barbecue, fantastic. B, where was? 10 seconds. Tenemos como 15 segundos, o 20 segundos, si no me equivoco. 3 segundos. The answer, the barbecue was fantastic. Very nice. I think people answer correctly. Let's see the podium. So now, the night, Jose Carlos. The night is in the first place. Second, Jose Carlos. Karen Renata in third place. Jose Portillo, fourth place. And Elia Sea is in the fifth place. Estos son los cinco lugares, por el momento. Number three. Our friends not late. Ese es el negativo. Wasn't, weren't, weren't. Ten seconds. Okay. Yeah, our friends weren't late. That is the answer. Okay, now I'll tell them how Next, number four. The bodies were old, was for where? Five seconds. Where? The bodies were old. Very good. Que va a depender de quien responda primero. Quien presiona primero. Quien presiona primero o rápido o 
tiene más puntos. Se Carlos first place, Anay, Terminata, se ofrece, y mi mamá Patricia es en fifth place now. Number five. My sister not in Africa. My sister weren't, was, or wasn't. Quien presione primero es quien obtiene más puntos. Que estemos listos, presionamos lo más rápido posible. My sister wasn't exactly in Africa. Okay. Carlos, Ronald, José Portillo, Ernesto, o Carmen Renata. Next. My student last year. Where was Am? Five seconds, two seconds. I was a student last year. Exactly. This is the podium. Ya sea is in the fifth place, and we continue with the same places. Number seven, this is a question. They, they happy yesterday, was, were, or? Question. Very good. Were they happy yesterday? Yes, they were, no, they weren't. That is the answer. Okay. Next, number eight. Who? He. Or was where? Who was he? Who was he? Who was my? Thank you. Oh, in the same places. Were you late? No. Wasn't, weren't, was. I weren't, I wasn't, or I was. No, I wasn't, yeah. Were you late? No, I wasn't. Very good. Okay. And the last one, let's get ready. Todo en orden. The burgers, delicious. The burgers, delicious. Was or were. This is the last one. Five seconds. The answer, the burgers were delicious. Burgers, it's in plural. See the, the third place we have Ivan Patrice, and the third place, in the first place, sorry, we have in the fifth place, Karen Renats. Okay. Well, every room. Yeah. Yes, Tell me. Very nice. Okay, nice, very good. Okay, uh, any questions before you go? I want to say this is a... No. Vamos a seguir practicando con juegos así. Que nos ayudan a practicar mucho más. I like it, that. Good, yeah. It's awesome. That's a good game. Okay, um, before you go, questions? Preguntas? No, solo cómo puso el pin para el juego. <risa> sí, por lo general les pido un pin siempre. O sea que lo siento porque que no pude ingresar. A veces también es por problemas de conexión. Uh, ese juego da a veces problemas por eso, más que todo. Porque nos saca. A veces saca a las personas del juego, pero podemos volver a ingresar. Así es que para la próxima ya sabemos. Lo hacemos más adelante. Estamos listos. Okay. Bueno, lo último, solo recordarles. Mañana límite para fecha límite para hacer la plataforma toda completar el final exam y ahora es la fecha límite para el formato de inscripción si ya lo hicimos todos excelente no se preocupen well everybody this is all for today thank you so much for being here and thank you for your time for your patience we will continue tomorrow okay have a good night see you tomorrow god bless you okay thank you okay thanks teacher bye bye teacher bye 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 bye